Well, I'm on Facts of Mars, and I got some rather sad news, especially if you're conservative from New York. Assemblyman Bill Nojay has committed suicide. Uh, here's Democrat and Chronicle. Rochester area New York political world was rocked Friday by news that Assemblyman Bill Nojay, a long-serving public official who was running on primary Tuesday, took his own life. Nojay had been scheduled to moderate a debate on Thursday night in Canada among Republican primary candidates running for the 54th State Senate District. But he canceled a couple hours prior to 7 o'clock start, said Mike Sigler, who pulled out of the race in June. Sigler said no Jay phoned Jay Dutcher, consultant for candidate Floyd Rayburn, said he couldn't make it. Dutcher ended up taking no Jay's spot in the debate that included only Rayburn, the candidate with businessman and former assemblyman Sean Hanna. I'm really bummed out by this. I'll show you the uh, next one. He went to a cemetery where his family graves were, and he put a gun to his head. According to uh, police, there may be a reason for this. He was facing federal... He was due in federal court to face uh, fraud charges, and apparently federal fraud charges, and apparently he had money troubles as well. So I'm thinking he was probably... rather despondent over his problems. It's sad. I listened to this guy on the radio. He had his own talk show. I wouldn't even realize this had happened, except uh, this talk show wasn't on the air today. So when I got home, I went online to see if I could find out why. It took a while, but I finally found the story. Assemblyman Bill Mojay faced federal fraud charges. Assemblyman Bill Mojay, who died by suicide Friday morning, had been scheduled to appear Friday in U.S. District Court to face fraud-related charges connected to a trust fund he handled as an attorney, according to sources familiar with the case. Before the scheduled court appearance, No.J. contacted his lawyer via text and said he, was playing, he planned to take his own life. The attorney contacted police and went to Riverside Cemetery where No.J. fatally shot himself in it his family burial plot before police could intervene. Noj has been in the middle of various controversies recently. He was a silent partner in a company that won a tentative contract to oversee the second phase of $1.3 billion Rochester Schools Modernization Project. He is one of four defendants in a fraud trial in Cambodia where Noj and three other men formed a company to process and export rice. Four were accused of obtaining a $1 million investment from a wealthy Cambodian and shutting the company down. While multiple media outlets linked Mojay's criminal charge to either the school modernization or the Cambodian project, the Cambodian case had nothing to do with it. While agents reportedly found the alleged fraud as an out offshoot of an investigation in, into the modernization program, the criminal charge had nothing to do with that matter either. Instead, Noj was to be criminally charged in connection 
with alleged disappearance of funds from an account he managed for a longtime client and friend, architect Carlton Bud DeWolf. Sources said. The Wolf said Friday that the FBI had informed him several weeks ago that the $1.8 million from the escrow account had been traced to NoJ, who had access to money as the Wolf's lawyer. At first, the FBI thought the Wolf was involved in diverting funds, but the Wolf said he convinced them that he had not been. It's unclear how much of the money NoJ was accused of embezzling. Well, this is just... I'm thinking all that has probably just overwhelmed him. Whether any of it's true, that, I wouldn't know. I'm not involved with it. I didn't know this guy personally. I just think it's mighty sad. What can you say at times like this? I don't know. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. So sad.